हेलो गाइस दिस इज रजत उपाध्याय फ्रॉम म्यूजिक माई क्लासेस इन द सीरीज ऑफ डी जेंगो दिस इज माई एलेवेंथ वीडियो सो इन द इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट मॉडल्स सो हेयर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप्स एंड मॉडल्स बेसिकली देर थ्री रिलेशनशिप्स एज एग्जिस्ट सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वन बाई वन each relationship first one is one to one relationship and second one is many to one and third one is many to many okay so basically three relationship exist in models so in this video i am going to talk about about 1 to 1 okay so let's start we will easily understand 1 to 1 relationship with the help of example so let's start basically in 1 to 1 relationship one child record should depend on one parent record okay so what i said we will understand with the help of example okay so first we have to create one project for example i am creating one folder in the whole series of django i will explain you every every topic with the help of example so you can easily understand what it is okay project 11 here we have to open cmd just type django admin start project i'm teaching you how to pro make a project in every video so if you are new in mu sigma classes so you can also easily understand or you can prepare my old videos okay let us suppose i'm creating one to one okay project name is one to one click enter yeah it's created now we can check one to one okay here we have to create one app just open cmd here you have to write python dot manage dot py start app <coughs> one वन टू वन एप ओके क्लिक एंटर ओके आवर एप हैज बीन क्रिएटेड नाउ वी हैव टू गो फॉर फाइव चार्म वी यूज फाइव चार्म बेसिकली फॉर एक्सेसिंग आवर फाइल वेरी इजली मैनर यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक चेंजेस in a file one by one but that will be very time taken process so we use pycharm okay we just open pycharm so we have to go for our project just go to open project uh, 11 right so it's not showing actually yeah Project Lemon Select. Okay. <coughs> Now our project has been open. Now we have to change some change changement. Actually, here we are using MySQL, so we have to open MySQL and create one. database open mysql and i am creating one database okay create database in the last video i just tell you how to create a table okay and how to insert a data in a in a particular table so here i am just creating one database here you have to write create database 1 to 1 db 
my database name is 121db okay just click enter and you use 121db is it right 121db click and enter yeah now we have to configure our database so go to settings file these are these step i have already tell you before that's why i am doing so much fast so here we have to activate our application so what is our application name is one to one app okay one to one app right now we have to configure our database go to database this is by default so i am using here mysql mysql and here database name what is the database name just we have to write one to one db db and in the next we have to write user by default username of mysql is root in the last video there is one comment where one guy asked me how to open python cell so uh, in this video i am going to tell you how to open python cell ok you can use python cell to checking out our database configure is right or not wrong ok and uh, just uh, here we have to type password for checking and is there any error or not we have to type such type of command okay so now we have to migrate our database make migrations okay go to cmd here we have to write python dot manage dot py and here we have to write make migration make migration command is used to create a python file particular python file and after make migration we execute migrate command which is used to modify our database or uh, do any changement in our database okay no uh, no changes in is detected because here we did not created any database no that's why okay here we did not create any table not database database we have already created no so here we have to check our configure is right or not so we have to write python dot manage dot py and cell this is the method how we can open our cell okay now you have to write from django db and import what should we have to import connection and enter now you have to write c equal to connection and we have to execute cursor function yeah yeah that's mean it's right if there will be any error then it will show any error so let's go ahead in our video now i am going to talk about one to one relationship so we have to go python um, for a mo model file okay and we have to write some codes just open model and we have to write here class uh, let us suppose student we are going to show the one to one relationship between student and course okay student and course so here we are creating student student and uh, we have to import models dot model and uh, I am just uh, creating a table okay models dot integer field okay 
and next one is a s name models dot care field uh, here we have to give max length max length let's suppose 20 now we have to location let's suppose uh, models dot care care field equal to max length equal to let's suppose 20 okay now we have to define one function mm, define one function actually this function is basically used to return any particular particular value so whenever we are creating any table then it returns a particular value just suppose here we are returning self dot mm, s name okay here we are ret returning s name okay by default now we are we are creating here another class that's mean another table uh, course models dot model student here one yes okay now we have to student have to take one object student models dot which type of relation one to one so we have to write one to one field one to one field okay one to one field and for which for a student okay so this is the main line in every rela relation there will be a changement only okay so here one to one so one to one in many to many we write many to one in many to many we write foreign key okay i will discuss about this in the upcoming video so here we have to write c no course number models dot integer field and uh, c name here we have to write models dot uh, integer field no no it's care field no care field uh, max length equal to i think 20 right now fees course fees that will be integer right right integer field okay now we have to define one function that will return by default value okay now we have to here we have what should we have to return c course name okay self dot c name so here we have created our model now now we have to my run command make migration for creating one python file and after that we have to uh, execute migrate command okay just go and open cmd cmd uh, right here python make migration so we here we have to write minus dot pi now python minus dot pi okay click enter and it is only oh ho okay 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 so here we have to write one by default by default math method okay which value will be true actually after creating any table we have to delete our table or any another changement so we have to write here just here by default we will also discuss about it why we are doing this 
so we have to write here on delete on delete equal to by default is uh, cascade what is cascade we will discuss about in upcoming video cascade okay that's right okay now we have to check again go cmd type python dot manage pi make migrations let's check yeah okay now our table has been created now we have to execute now we have to execute migrate command which command migrate command migrate yeah okay now everything is okay so i think that's enough in the next video i will going to enter some value in both the tables and after that i will insert the value in both the table table with the help of admin site okay if you have to watch uh, another video also thank you so much guys for watching this video in this video i just cover how to make two tables which contains one to one relationship between each other okay in the next next video i will just insert the data in both of the video both of the tab tables uh, with the help of admin site in the next video i will also tell you how to access admin side and how we will insert data in a table thank you so much guys thank you